Ben Holtex, you've invested a lot of money at late, but can you tell us a little bit about your company first? Yeah, I guess uh, we're sort of a relatively young company. Uh, we've been going about three and a half years. It started as uh, me and my business partner, Aaron Holt. Um, since then, we've kind of grown, expanded machines, um, sort of kept up with technology, I guess. Uh, and now uh, we're sort of at three and a half years in, uh, over 10 employees and working hard. <laughs> Yeah, you, as I say, quite often new startups you invest in maybe used machines or maybe one or two machines, but you've invested in brand new technology, you know, multi-axis turning and five-axis milling. Yeah, we kind of decided that we'd start afresh. You know, we, we've worked as hard as we can to keep going with up-to-date technology and we'll go forward from there. Mm -hmm. And we're here on your Hymer cell. How has this helped your company? Uh, the, the Hymer system is really great. Um, so we've got between the two, we've got a heat shrink system for the um, for the milling, and then also a tool setter um, for analysing tools and sort of setting lengths and diameters uh, for accurate cutting. Mm -hmm. But it's fair to say companies of your size don't always invest in this technology. They should, but they don't always do it. So what is it? Why did you do it? I guess the the thing is, quite a lot of the the jobs we do are relatively high precision. Um, we're using relatively delicate tooling sometimes um, and also kind of the machinery the machinery is as good as the tooling that you put in it at the end of the day mm -hmm. and um, the sort of more accurate you get the tool the, the better you are from the mm -hmm. off um, I guess because we use quite a bit of sort of smaller tooling delicate tooling you can be doing profiles that aren't possible to measure by sort of normal methods you, you require kind of CMM or that type of technology um, being able to accurately set diameters and check run out of tooling means before you complete the part and get it to the CMM or inspection you can check it and make sure you know from the point that you start cutting relatively that you're right. Um, right first time has gone up quite a bit from that you know there's no sort of scrap set up part while you're almost guessing tool size I guess to some to some extent. Um, it's just generally improved and the tool life's improved with the with the run out and especially on sort of smaller smaller more delicate tooling. And you say, it's fair to say you see it as a necessity rather than a luxury? Yeah, I think now especially um, we're setting tools off the machine. Um, so on like a longer cycle um, job, we'll be setting the tools for the next one. Mm -hmm. We're setting spare tooling if you're, using, if you're doing a particularly tool heavy job or something that you know, may, may sort of wear. Um, downtime's minimal um, and tooling's lasting longer because it's running truer and better set. And they're easy to use. You told me off camera that some of your apprentices use this rather than the skilled guys, you know, to take up some of their time. Yeah, generally, you know, 10 minutes of training and anybody can pretty much set anything. Um, so all the machines are programmed into the tool setter. Um, so despite the fact we have different sort of heights, essentially, from spindle nose to bed, um, you load the machine, you set the tools and away you go. And the future for Holtex, again, you've invested lots of money. Are you going to continue to invest? You're quite crammed in this unit. <laughs> yeah, you know, expansion plans are kind of on the horizon. Uh, keeping up to date with the technology, making sure, you know, we, we do the best job that we can is key. <laughs>